Terry Wright with Berwick Community Media, and we're here today with Michelle Keniston, who is the principal at the Knowlton School and has been for the last six years. We're looking at what's been going on this year, Michelle. Well, we've started the school year strong. We have welcomed just about 230 students into our building this year. We have um, 88 fourth grade students, and I think I think the number is 138 fifth grade students and our fourth graders are all from Berwick and our fifth graders are from the towns of Berwick and North Berwick. Wow. Um, so let's see, we uh, have some new things happening here behind us. Can you tell us a little bit about um, the project? So two years ago, all of this behind me was woods um, and it was really unusable for our students and also broke up the sight line from the upper playground to the lower playground. And our PTO has been working for two years to raise money, organize volunteers and a lot of hard work um, and has created a natural playground for us that the kids absolutely love. So there's a path that they love to jump from, from um, stump to stump across. We have an area that they can build forts with, with sticks that we keep for them. Uh, we have lots of fairy house building right now. That's been very popular this spring. Uh, and most recently, we they've put in this lovely garden for us. Um, so lots of fun and it's nice to have a little a little love from the community yeah. into our school. Yeah. Okay, um, so this was obviously a big project for the PTO and I understand that the PTO now is actually all of the schools um, in Berwick, is that correct? Yes, so they are now um, helping out Hussey School, Knowlton School, and at the middle school. So I know that they are actively looking for, for more help. So if people are interested in um, that, we would love to have more people on the PTO. Uh, we also had an inside project this summer. Okay, great. Uh, recently we have had the floor in the entire first floor, um, the hallway and the cafeteria has been redone. So that looks great. Okay. Well, I was going to ask you about projects, so you took care of that for me. Thank you very much. Um, and can you tell us a little bit about how parents can stay involved when kids start to, as they go through the system, I know that parents say, what can we do? How can we help? How can we keep involved? Fourth and fifth graders still love to have their parents come into school. So if we have parents that have time or talents that they would like to share, they can contact me directly. Um, any opportunity to bring in something that maybe we don't provide here, something to show and tell about. Um, we've had parents come in to help raise chickens last year. Um, very popular. Um, but we would love to have anybody who has something to offer. Um, they can contact me directly or your child's teacher. Great, thank you. Um, and what type of activities do they have for the Knowlton School as far as what can kids get involved in and what should parents be aware of? Most of the activities that happen at this age are still done through Berwick Rec. So that um, the sports and such mm -hmm. goes through there. But at Knowlton School, since we have fifth, uh, fourth and fifth graders, our students are constantly coming up with their own clubs. And um, our staff is amazing about that. So don't be surprised if your child comes home and suddenly wants to be part of a Rubik's Cube club or a chess club, or we've even had Pokemon clubs. Um, and generally it's kid driven and then they find a staff member and we'll run it for a couple weeks after school and the kids really love it, especially since it's generally their idea. Okay. Wonderful, I know you used to put on um, plays and um, those were a lot of fun. Um, so staffing, I know a lot of other schools are having trouble with staffing um, and finding people to take positions. Is this something that has affected Knowlton as well? Thankfully, we did not have um, much changeover in teaching staff this year. So that's been amazing. Uh, we had Rachel Putnam come back to us. Uh, so kind of new, but certainly familiar with our school. Um, we are still looking for a couple of support staff positions and um, building sub positions. 
Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking time with Borough Community Media today. We appreciate you. Is there anything that you would like uh, residents or parents to know about the Knowlton School or about what's going on here? So one of the things that we've been working really hard on for the last two years is a, uh, a project that um, we're in a cohort with several schools from all across the state, from as far north as Fort Fairfield, um, with the Department of Education and the UMaine system. And what we have been working on is implementing a positive behavior intervention and supports, um, known as PBIS. And that's really a framework for creating uh, safe, positive, and equitable schools. So the idea really is, and the goals are making sure that we are clearly communicating expectations with students, that we're rewarding frequently students for things that they do well and recognizing them for that, and then that we have systems in place for supports when students need it. So that is one thing that we're working um, hard with staff on this year and will continue. It's a part of a three-year cohort. Wonderful. Well, thank you for uh, talking with BCM today, and we wish you a wonderful year. Thank you very much. Okay.